Hey guys, welcome into today's quick video. We're just going to be doing a technical update on the charts for our lovely favorite stock of ALPP. As you guys know, we like to follow it closely on this channel. So if you are someone out there that is an ALPP fan like us or our Discord community, then be sure to like this video and subscribe for future content on ALPP and all the updates that you can imagine. So guys, I'm still in isolation with COVID, which means I have plenty of time to get these video updates out for you guys. And today we are going to have a special request because I have had someone in the comment section ask me recently if I could do a Fibonacci retracement for ALPP on a technical analysis so that way we can find out where we can expect ALPP to in fact withdraw back to and quick plug just in case you guys would like access to any of my private buy and sell alerts or would like to ask me anything at any time then be sure to check out our discord community again there'll be a link below in the comment section to the private patron if you would like to support the channel in any way just for the price of a comment I hope to see you guys inside and welcome to all of my new patrons that have recently joined us this month. So when I'm on the charts guys I use TradingView and on the side of TradingView unfortunately it's not showing on my screen right now you do have some options so what I'll do is I'll put that up so you guys can see it now. So up on my screen guys you should now be able to see all of the tools here so if I am to click on one of these tools it will then come up with uh, other options that we can add in the Fibonacci is on this one here which is the third or fourth one down and again you've got the lines here which shows the Fibonacci retracement so this is so this is the tool that we are going to be using in today's technical analysis and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the Fibonacci retracement so what we do guys is we start from a area of top or bottom in this case we're going to start back here in October 1st when we had the shares down at two dollars we had a recent spike up which means we are going to drag the Fibonacci all the way up here to four dollars and 25 cents so that basically is going to be our Fibonacci retracement zone as you can see that now covers us and I can zoom in on this so you guys can have a better and clearer picture of where we can expect price action confirmation for support and resistance where we're going to pull back to so this is the area that we started and this is the area of height where there has been an area of resistance so that is the top of the Fibonacci typically on a Fibonacci guys we always retrace back to around the 50 area but one side will end up becoming stronger whether that be the 0.38 or the 0.618 now again depending on whether we are in a bull or a bear market it will indicate to us whether we are in fact pulling up more into that 38 zone or if in fact we are pulling up less and we are pulling up to the 61 zone and again if we were to sell then it would be the opposite so if we are selling from an all-time high we are using the Fibonacci retracement if we were to only pull back to the 3.8 level that would show to me that this could be a nice place to load the boat typically if it has bounced here as a support if there is a double act confirmation on here or a triple act support then this is going to be a very nice place to load up Again, if we were in a bear market and this was to break down below the 50 and hit the 0.618, that would probably be a much stronger area of support, but it could also indicate to me that there is still going to be downward pressure on the stock. So again, it all depends on what you're going to be using this from, whether you're using it from an area of resistance like we are in this case, or whether you're using it from an area of support. So again, be sure to go back and watch that over and over as many times as you guys need to, to help you understand how to use the Fibonacci retracement tool in this case guys you can see that the base case is we pulled back 50% so we've actually hit the 0.5 zone exactly we did actually come you can see we double tested on a four hour time frame down to the 0.61 and we have had a double confirmation here on a candle wick to bring us back up to the halfway mark so this shows me that we had actually bounced off that 150 SMA line that we like to use here as an area of support as well. So this shows me that there are a lot of buyers now in the market around this area. So we can expect price action confirmation to bounce between the 0.618 and the 0.5. Now guys, what that indicates to me is this is potentially a new area of resistance where we are seeing the resistance here and also the support at the 0.6. So around that $3 mark guys is now the new sensitive area for ALPP stock. So if we have any negative news on ALPP or we continue to sell down, we will break down from that support. We will retest down onto the 0.78 level, which is going to be around the 2.5 dollar mark. So that is where I anticipate 
the Alpine Force stock to actually lead us over the next few weeks, especially if we don't have any news about the NASDAQ. If we do have good news, we are definitely going to retest back up onto a double confirmation, I believe, onto this area of resistance. And if we do have enough buys in the market, we will definitely push above this and we will see those highs again of five to six dollars once we do have that uplift. Now, I will be looking to capitalize as much as I can on a new existing position once I start to re-establish my position. As you guys know, I have recently sold out of our Alpine 4 stock on this recent run-up. And again, I like to take profits on these large volatile swings because this stock allows us to use the technical charts very successfully as we can look back at history and we can see, again, how many times this has happened over the last year. We get those really large spells of volatility where, in fact, we can buy low and we can actually sell high. So that's what I have been doing on this stock. It has generated me quite a lot of money over the last year so I'm very happy to continue to do that over the next few years with Alpine 4 because it does seem to be one of those stocks that can be up 13 or 14 percent in a day as we know yesterday the markets ended and this stock actually sold off over 13 percent which is extremely volatile it is more volatile than Bitcoin because Bitcoin sometimes doesn't even move 13 percent in a day it sometimes drops 8 to 10 percent but this stock seems to have you know some enormous swings of volatility on here and again if you compare that to the Bitcoin scale ETF, the BTCF, you can see here, it's a very similar chart with the way that in fact it has those volatile swings of up and down, but it does seem to consolidate a lot more, whereas Alpine 4 does have, you know, even more volatility than Bitcoin because we really do have those massive swings up. And again, we do have those exponential swings down as well. But this company, you have to remember if you're holding it for the long term and not to worry about the swing trade because you are someone that is looking to hold this for the very long term, the company is growing exponentially. Kent has said, which I've done many videos on, go and have a binge on my channel because I have a ton of content with interviews with Kent. And he's saying that he's trying to now expand this business globally so that, again, they can reach new market share. They have government contracts, guys, with Vayu, and we don't know what that's going to generate. Kathy Wood predicts that the drone sector and the aerospace sector is going to be worth trillions of dollars in the next decade. So they have their hands in one of the biggest market caps in the US with, again, their Vayu air defense contracts with the government. So we don't know what that's going to generate over the next 10 years, but this could be, you know, some really nice streams of revenue. They have weathered through the pandemic very successfully holding on to all of their employees. They have already done a raise of capital and they have a ton of cash on their balance sheet. And again, like I said, they continue to adapt every single year and add to some already existing subsidiaries. So this company is doing extremely well. So I'm happy to again to buy this once it does come back down towards that area of support, especially if we break down below $2.50. Fifty cents. I am particularly interested in Alpine again once it does reach down to this area of support around the $2 price range. That is when I'm going to start to re-establish a brand new position in Alpine 4 and then hold that again until we get some nice further momentum and swings up to the upside where then I can make some nice capital and cash out in that cash position. So guys, that is what I'm looking to do. That is how to use the Fibonacci retracement. And again, what I am seeing with this exact stock right now technically is the fact that we are sitting in an area of consolidation around between you know the three dollar price mark and the three dollar and 25 price mark so that is where the area of support and resistance until we get any catalysts we are not going to break down or above again so we'll have to keep an eye on twitter and also see what interviews kent has lined up or if there's any news there on the nasdaq so i hope you did enjoy this video today if you learned something new be sure to go down there, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Welcome to this family of investors. And also consider joining the private Patreon. I will leave a link below and I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for all of my existing Patreons and all of my new Patreons that have recently joined us. Again, I wish you a fantastic journey with investing. You can ask me anything that you feel free. Again, we have a fantastic community here on our Discord. So if you are someone that is looking for a lovely community for the price of a coffee every month and some brand new friends that you can chat to every single day, then be sure to check out that link below. Guys, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. As I always say, stay safe until then and make sure that you don't get COVID like me. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao.